in the production window enter the calf weight. If not provided, the breed standard, Holstein cow, will be used but can be changed. Enter the average weight of the calves. Leave the growth rate and body weight replacement at zero for adult animals. For Primi Paris, input a growth rate of 100 to 150 green. Weight replacement can be kept at zero for multi Paris animals. After 100 days of lactation, cows should regain lost postpartum weight. Adjust if necessary to reflect weight gain. If you input 800 grams, it will calculate the energy of this diet to gain 800 grams in the energy balance. However, it isn't easy to know if it's gaining 800 grams, 500 grams, or 1 kilogram. This is variable. So, it's challenging to define a correct number. You can work with zero here, and I'll adjust this gain in the energy balance report. So we'll put zero here and work with extra energy, with an energy surplus in the overall diet energy balance. In the milk production section, input the group average. We'll use a group average of 40 kilograms for this exercise. Working with the group average instead of the standard deviation is suggested. Adjust metabolizable protein for lactation by 20% more. For milk composition orders, input information from the expansion tank, fat, crude protein, and lactose. For protein, calculate the quantity based on the volume of milk produced in 305 days of lactation. If I had individual data from the group, from the cows, I would input the group average. But usually we don't have that. We have it from the expansion tank, which has 4% fat and 3.3% crude protein. Here we're dealing with crude protein, not true protein. Lactose is typically 4.6%, 4.7%. We're entering the milk components. I have 3.3% crude protein in the expansion tank and the average for this herd is 10,000 kilograms of milk. So 10,000 kilograms times 3.3% crude protein equals 330. We'll input into the software that this cow produces 330 kilograms of protein in 305 days of lactation within those 10,000 kilograms of milk produced.